Good morning, Soul Family. How are you all doing? Let's take a peek outside. I should start while I'm out here. Oh, I gotta sweep that up. When I took the lion out of the Serengeti, I made a mess on the floor. Oh, hi. 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 You talkative? Okay, so look what happened in one day with this, when I didn't get the, um, the water into that plant. One day without water and you, you can crisp up. And that's interesting because I was just thinking about that. Uh, I was looking in the live feed that we had the other day. She needs to be given lovey. She needs to be brushed. Hold on, Lily. Um, and somebody made a comment. Remember when we were at, I was asking about songs? Give me a song and I'll read the song, right? For the message. Come here, Lily. Come here, little girl. Come outside. Come outside, baby. Um, and I was saying, somebody said something about in the desert. Your cat in the desert. Or, come here, baby girl. Something about the desert. And I thought uh, today I was talking about... Um, I have an aloe vera plant. I'll show it to you when we're in there now. I'm brushing her. But I looked at it, and even an aloe vera needs water. Okay? So I'm talking about, I mean, it's, it, it, get, it starts to get limp, right? Very quickly in extreme heat. Now, heat is pressure. Heat is angry words. Heat is um, anything that's, I mean, it's going to put a lot of, strain and stress on you, right? So it could be overwork, it could be lack of sleep, it could be health conditions, whatever it is. This was extreme heat. And, and if there had been water in there enough, now what's interesting is, you know what? Oh no, that was afterwards. If there had been water in there, because this is right in the sun, but this one had been watered, right? And so with the extreme heat, it didn't, it didn't die. It didn't crisp. But with the extreme, she's gonna start talking to me in a minute, I know. But with the extreme heat, um, and not getting anything, you're going to go under. So, and today we're, I'm giving us a little bit of sweetness. This is my absolutely favorite in the world incense. It's called Insight Incense from my Insight Gallery from Sedona. And I really feel like I need to get to Sedona. And uh, anyway, I went to water it because I looked at it and I thought, whoa, it's wiggly. I'd let a little bit of time, just a little bit of time go by without giving it its water. And it, and I thought, wow, even a cactus needs water. So I'm going to stop for a second. I'm going to show you. We're going to be working with these ones again, okay? But this time we're going to trade. We're going to trade sides because the divine masculine is going to lead. This is the divine masculine for me. This was his blue egg, right? All I have is this one egg. You, all you need is this one egg. This was the divine feminine. This was her creative egg. But now, he's going to have that egg, and she's going to have this one. Because he's stepping into this, his creative power right now. He's got some thinking to do, he's figuring things out, and she's gonna just relax and be calm. And if I could put a little clamp on her mouth, I would. <laughs> Except for she's gotta teach. So, those are your items to choose from. You don't have to choose Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. You can choose Zodiac if you choose, or whatever. Right? Their side, my side, whatever. And, uh, and now I'm going to go on and continue while I shuffle the cards. So what this message is going to be for those who believe that they are in a twin soul relationship. Or a twin flame relationship, I guess you guys call it. My twin, when he met me, he called us. He asked me if I was his twin soul. And that resonated with me. I had always thought of them as twin flames. I like the idea of twin soul because that's what we are in reality. And uh, when we're talking about the twin soul journey, if you're thinking that this is, you know, I was listening to another reader, I will tell you, and I, I, her name, uh, Soul Revolution, I think is the name of her. And sometimes I do disagree with the things that she says, but today I, I listened for a little while as I was making my, you know, cleaning up around the house. And I liked some things that she said because it was resonating with what I was, what I had, um, had experienced myself. The twin soul journey is extremely difficult. It's not a journey. I told you guys yesterday, this is not a journey of 
have a romance and you know here to make you feel good twin souls come together to to, to make to bring out our our past karma we will not come together mm -hmm. until we have worked through our past karma sufficiently we won't because that's just how it works we come together we pull apart we come together we pull apart we do that in order to connect energetically and if I wasn't already 100% certain who my twin soul was, when the father said, when he, he comes, he comes with crystals in his hands, and he showed up with crystals in his hands, I, I mean, I already knew who he was. But I've got to tell you, I've said it before, and I'll say it now, your twin, I've got stuff here on the desk, will always come from a place of love. They will not, we, we get angry at each other, we do. Sometimes you get really mad at each other in the beginning, you know, but as you, we're getting closer to coming back together permanently, and we've learned a lot, both of us. And all of the pain that I've gone through, he's gone through just as much as I have. And I look at his life and I look at my life because I dream with him. And his life has absolutely been a life of service, which is what a twin soul journey is. You know, you look at, I said to you yesterday, I. I I, I asked myself, or I asked, why has this happened to me? Because my life is a life of service. My name, even, that I was adopted. I was, my real name was taken. And I was adopted by a man named Bergman, which means man of the mountain, which is, which is a name of service. And uh, that's why spiritual people choose to change their last names, I swear to God. Some people change their, their first name. Um... But there is a reason that we've been through everything, and it's because we're here to serve. It's, and it doesn't mean that we are not worthy, because we are. It doesn't mean that we should not be treated with respect and kindness, because we should. But that's our lesson to learn. It takes a long time. I'm going to start crying in about 20 seconds. My mother's name, I almost took my mother's name, because, I didn't, because the name that I carry is not mine. Columbus means I'm a servant, okay? It's not my name. It, it was the name of my ex-husband, and I only kept it. And it was the man that I married when I was just a child. And I only kept it because it was my son's last name, and I wanted to be connected to him. But uh, he doesn't even speak to me <laughs> because of my spiritual path, and I thought, what is the point in keeping this name, right? It's interesting, though, because of the names. Columbus is an explorer which is what I have been doing, right? There's a reason I kept my last name. It's also, it also means dove. And you think about all the meanings of the word dove, prophecy, fulfillment, soulmate connection, um, taking a breath, pausing, which is really important on the twin soul journey, right? I took that name back. But the name that I almost chose, I did. I, I, I put all the paperwork in and it was gonna cost me like $350 and at that time I just didn't have the money, so I stopped paperwork was my mother's last name, my grandmother's last name, my, my Celtic name. I told you that I resonate with that name because my grandma raised me and, and it was the name of my cousins. And the last name is Lation, L-E-Y-S-H-O-N. And it means lion-like and the leader. So yesterday, you know, I kept saying, I, I, the lions are all around me. Why are the lions? And I said, I came in with the lion people. I did, the Lations, the Celtic, lion-like the leaders. That's why the lions are around me. Also, the lions are very prevalent, not only in my life, but probably in yours right now, because we are in the Lion Gate period right now. When the planet Sirius and the different planets are lined up, it's called the Lion's Gate. We've been in, in it before. Now, interesting enough, I was born in Lion's Gate Hospital. Think about that. So I probably awakened during a Lion's Gate period. I am connected to the planet Sirius. I know that. So these are things that need to come up, and it's, I'm talking about myself because I can't talk about you, right? I'm giving you examples. Now, we're going to go back to my twin. He goes through things that he has to go through for lessons, just like I do. He has karmic soulmates and relationships, just like I have, for lessons. He needs to understand them. I need to understand them. We go through habits that we need to break. We need to learn what our addictions are. My addiction was chasing. Right? There's always a chaser, there's always a runner. He's a runner. He has to understand what he's running from. What is he running from? Love. Because he doesn't trust it. 
What am I running after? Love, because I'm afraid I won't have it. Because why? Because it was always taken away from me as a child. And for him, it was never given to him, right? There's reasons we go through what we go through. But I will tell you that there are karmic soulmates that want us to believe that we are their twin soul. They are not our twin soul. Those people will manipulate. Those people will lie. Those people will make you feel bad about yourselves. Those people will, if they're an addiction. When, when spirit says your worst addiction is seeking you out, that would have been mine. And I know who it is. So no matter what things look like, and even all of the messages and signs that will come to try and throw me off my track, I know in my soul what my father has shown me, who my twin is. But there's another thing that proves it to me. My twin's going through something right now that he can't discuss with me. It, whether it be he literally cannot tell me, or whether it is... I mean, I see it, I watch it, right? But he can't talk to me about it. Or whether it's he cannot himself physically bring himself to, whatever it is. Or I, I personally believe and I have felt all along that it's because he's, he tries to protect me. We will always try to protect one another, twins. Always, always. There is no manipulating and hurting, purposely hurting your twin. Even if we get angry at them, we can get angry and we can say mean things, but we will not manipulate and lie and deceive and hurt our twin purposely. That is what a karmic will do. So when I saw my twin, my father told me what was going to, he would come with crystals in his hands and he did. And yet what transpired, I told you when I uh, saw him, I wasn't able to speak. It was like angels pulled my tongue back. And they did, no doubt, absolutely. I was not meant to speak, and I didn't. All I kept saying was, wow, wow, wow. And the way he spoke to me, his voice and the expression on his face was completely devoid. Actually, you know, the expression on his face was not. He wasn't as much of a poker face as he thought he was being. But um, his voice was. But he was being watched. And he had to put on an act for whatever his reason was. You know, whether it was didn't want to allow his friends to believe what he, you know, he truly was feeling or didn't want him to get be me involved in something that he was dealing with or whatever it was. But as I went to leave, he said what he had to say to me, and it was awful. And I, I believed it, and yet at the same time I knew I didn't believe it. But when I went, but after he said what he had to say to me, reached out and and I you know I was it was very difficult for me to even recall I didn't even recall his face what he looked like I couldn't tell you I remember thinking to myself his skin is darker and I remember thinking to myself you never age right his voice was different for me because he didn't speak with love and what he said was hurtful but after he did that he touched my arm and when he spoke to me, his voice was the voice I knew. And what he said, it was very good to see you. That was my twin. There is no denying the connection. And you see, he knew, but I didn't. I had a wall up because it had been four and a half years and I wouldn't have touched him. But he knew that he had to touch me. We have to connect physically. Now, this is another message. Sometimes they'll feel like they need to connect with us and they want to do it on a sexual level because that's the way men think, right? But that's when we hold back and we, we don't fall into that. And we, we, there's self-respect, I told you. I don't care if you're my twin soul. You will treat me with respect. I will treat you with respect and you will treat me with respect. I'm not a booty call. I'm not here for a roll in the hay. I want the real deal. I want my twin. I want my partner, my divine partner. And when you and I come together again, it will be in sacred union. So if you are in, you think that you're in a twin soul relationship, you may feel like, well, this is the only way he can connect with me, you know? Or you may feel I'm afraid I'm gonna lose him. I've gone through that where I was afraid that I was gonna lose him. And if I don't do this, or if I say this, it'll push him away. 
there was a time that I had to give him a dream and I was afraid to give him the dream because I knew it was going to push him away and I was told it would push him away and but I gave it to him anyway and I said I would rather have you not speak to me and be angry at me than have you hurt and it did push him away and I did lose him but I loved him more so remember I said if you love someone if you're twin you need to let them go so that they can stay with you you need to let them go and so at that time I knew I needed to let him go even though my heart was breaking and then I went up and down up and down right because of course I'm human and I have I'm not perfect I'm in a twin soul relationship but I'm still human right and so you go through the emotions and you get and you feel hurt and you feel betrayed and you feel um, deserted but each time you come together and you connect physically the bond tightens and it causes things to move again he touched me because he had to touch me spirit lined that up if I could tell you how that day went and how it unfolded it was there's I and you say to yourself how is this ever gonna happen you don't have to think about it and you don't have to plan when I start thinking I have to figure out how to find him and I have to go where I think he might be then I'm off track then I push us backwards I have to just relax and when I start feeling insecure now this is about everything you guys this isn't just about twin souls when you start feeling worried or nervous or insecure you pull back you do nothing when you feel that that's when you go into a quiet space when I get confused if anything comes towards me and I don't understand it that's when I pull back and it doesn't mean I pull back away from my twin soul it means I start focusing on myself self-love positive affirmations rebuilding my, my my own strength because when fear or doubt or worry creep in that's the ego coming in that is me not vibrating on my highest frequency so that is with all of us now right now the twins that are about to come together are are in karmic relationships with other people whether that be other lovers other soul you know family friends it doesn't matter who it is it's a karmic relationship that they're involved in the karmic is going to try everything they possibly can to trip them up they're going to work on their on their on the giddy, guilt on their pity on their um, you know they'll be martyrs they'll be victims they'll they'll do it all they'll come at them with sex they'll confuse you they'll make you feel bad about yourself they'll do all kinds of they'll trick a true twin soul is not going to come to me through someone else they don't need to I told you I met my twin in a dream way way back and I saw him sitting with another woman and I said you know he told me he was in a twin soul relationship asked if that was her he said no I said why are you with her it isn't time I also heard in my dream if you can't hear me you're gonna have to deal with the people on Facebook which means he brings me messages through people they don't they don't he doesn't go to them and say tell her this they are mirrors they bring me messages I got caught up in the mirror so many times I can't tell you but I will tell you that the karmics will do that they will use another person to try and reach you not a twin soul we don't need to do that we speak to one another we're with each other in our dreams and when it's the time that we are meant to meet it will happen it doesn't matter what state country city it doesn't matter if you have a car or you don't it doesn't matter if you're in jail it doesn't matter it will be lined up in a way that you can't explain just like it was the day that we met there's no way in the world I knew something special was gonna happen that day and I said I wonder what surprise spirit has for me I had no clue that it was him and how it happened it, it was like only spirit could have lined it up because I wasn't gonna go I turned away I was told to go back I went back I tried to go in I went around the parking lot four times I went around the block four times no spots I was gonna leave spot opened up I stayed there I met people I went I mean it just I'm telling you I don't know how long he was watching me before he saw me but I gotta tell you that the, the last time I saw him he was with the same person and I was angry and I got in my car and I didn't speak to him and I left isn't it interesting I wasn't meant to talk to him then it would have caused problems for him I didn't know that then but it would have this time I didn't speak either because I wasn't supposed to say all of the things that were in my heart in front of that person we are supposed to speak alone and it wasn't time but he did need to touch me and when he spoke I heard the love in his voice and I'm not imagining things 
So I will tell you, there is always love between twin souls, even if they are with other people. It's a bond that cannot be undone. So that's that. And I'm going to, so no matter if I get mad at my twin, you know, I, no, I won't, I won't be there for sex for him. I won't be there. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to do my job and he's here to do his. And I got to tell you, the man is the most generous, giving, loving person. He's gone through hell and he, he's taken advantage of, as I have been. doesn't make him weak. It makes him loving. He's strong as hell. And uh, when he recognizes his self-worth like I recognize my self-worth fully, we come together. We won't put up with other people's lies, manipulations. And even if we have made a vow to someone else, we, it will end. It will end because we will know. And we won't worry about gossip. We won't worry about what anyone else thinks because we are choosing from our soul. That's when we will come together. And that's why I said I would not hesitate. I keep hearing that song. My reputation has got to be at an all-time low right now. You must really like me. Yeah, it doesn't matter what his reputation is. It doesn't matter what people say he's done. It doesn't matter. He's my twin soul. I'm not going to uh, condone inappropriate action. I'm not going to go off my path. If he has, it, because if he is in the midst of something where he's karmically twisted and he's off his path, I won't go there. It's a protection for me. That's why he stayed away. He was protecting me. That's why he didn't speak to me. He was protecting me. Whether he realized that or not, doesn't matter, but he was. And I now know that I've been through a lot, but I haven't been through anything he hasn't been through. It's different, but it's painful just the same. And no matter what he's been through, it doesn't change his character. The person is kind and good. So now at 22 minutes, we go to our first, which is the Divine Masculine. I don't know what it is for you, but that's who it is for me. This is the sparrow, the underestimated sparrow, the sparrow that is absolutely worthy, who is girded, crowned, winged, rudders, legs, everything in silver. Silver, very, very important to, to us, silver is. It is, um, it's interesting because it also vibrates to the number 47 and the number 47 adds up to the number nine, which is get to work light worker, get to work light worker, stop procrastinating. You have a job to be done. Everything that you need, everything to, do, to accomplish your divine life's path purpose you have. It also is a feminine color. It's a sophisticated color, but it's a feminine energy, which is the goddess energy, which is the love energy. Symbolically, it's connected to the moon, which is your intuition and the goddess energy as well. So purity, Awareness, single-mindedness, fo focus, clarity, awareness, purity. Clarity, awareness, purity, focus. Clarity, awareness, purity, focus. Persistence, vision, strength. There's reasons I had to say it that way. Interesting. All right. Here we go. I'm working with the animal messengers, and I'm working with the very first deck that I ever worked with when I... When I... Uh, began my spiritual work, I was concerned. I was a Jehovah's Witness, right? And I had been taught that this kind of thing that I deal with and do was demonic, and it's not. But this deck is called the Divine... So I wouldn't, I wouldn't go anything near anything that was tarot. I've talked to you guys about this before. But this was daily guidance from your angels. And I thought, okay, well, you know, I can work with this. I felt safe with this deck. This is my very first deck. <laughs> Perfect timing. So now is the perfect time for you to act. Isn't that interesting? On your inspirations, just like the number nine said, get to work, light worker. You've got everything you need, right? So now is the perfect time for you to act. The doors are wide open. Remember yesterday, the number 10 kept coming up with the dime in front of us on the desk, and it was speaking about, this is a gateway. It's time to walk through it. 
So this is about no more procrastination. This one, she's blowing her horn. This angel is saying, come on, I'm heralding, right? She's sending out music. This is the water that even my cactus needs. When my twins tra dealt with me, he was very prickly. I see that energy from his family. They're like cactuses and they're like palm trees. You can't hug a palm tree comfortably, it's prickly. But even a cactus and even a palm tree needs water, which is emotion. And my, and remember I said there's a black widow at my front door next to the aloe vera that i am been nurturing? There's a black widow. So a black widow is someone who bites the head off of their mate, an abusive person. She usually takes them for their money and throws them away. So there is a black widow at my front door next to the aloe that I'm nurturing. So please don't delay, don't procrastinate. You need everything, everything you need you have. This is the color of love, this is the color of healing. You've got the rainbow, which is the plethora. Everybody is on your side. Everyone that matters is on your side, supporting your positive outcome. So who matters? First of all, your, your angels, your archangels, your brothers and sisters, your father. You need to take steps. There's certain steps that you need to take. Remember, I said that I follow my intuition. It wasn't someone telling me what to do. I heard what to do. And I was led to my twin. So you need to tap into your intuition. My twin is very powerful. I told you guys he taught me how to channel. I'm sure he was frustrated with me for a very long time. That's why I heard if you can't hear me, you're gonna have to deal with people on Facebook because he could, he could. So right now for you, you're going to be guided. This is an angel guiding you. As I said as well, we take turns, right? The divine masculine and the divine feminine, just like soulmates, just like partners. We take turns. Sometimes I lead, sometimes you lead. That's what a wolf pack does. There is an alpha female and an alpha male. Neither one is over the other. The father takes care of the, the babies, the mother does too. So right now, you're being guided by an angel and you're being told not to delay, not to procrastinate, get to work, just like the number nine said. You've got everything you need. And sometimes it's not about the delicacy of how you approach things. Sometimes it's about just getting it done. It's just putting your energy and action into moving forward because you got to make something happen right now. So take just the first step that you're guided to take and spirit will guide the rest. You take one step forward, spirit, spirit takes 10 steps towards you. So bring it right down to the basics. Take action now on whatever it is for you. It's going to work out, but, it ha but it's only going to work out if you don't delay. You have to make a decision. And the reason that things didn't work before with whatever it is that you were trying to accomplish be was because the timing was not right. Now it is. New location. Are we moving? I will follow you where you go. I want to be with you is what the divine masculine says or is what I say to you. <clears throat> now this person, if I were to read this card, this is from an animal deck, okay? This is your animal companions. Now I told you, if you look on the front of this card, the horse is assistance, forward movement. The dog is best friend, loyalty, and friendship. The cat, I heard discerning, flexibility, agile, spirit. The turtle, slow and steady. This is actually a tortoise, wins the race. The cockatoo, knowing your own, the divine masculine, the sun, the mouse, pay attention to the details. Okay, so if I were to read this card in a, in, a, in a love reading, I'm reading it for you, and this person is saying, are we moving? This is being said to you, Divine Masculine. I will follow you wherever you go. I want to be with you. This is love, healing, and our, our for my Divine Masculine, this is our turquoise, our soul color. The skies are blue. As far as you're concerned and, and I, all blue skies ahead. This house is pure and white. There's healing on the shutters, which is on the windows, which is the eyes, the windows to the soul. There's healing on either side. Lots of windows looking out, forward, a nice comfortable porch, a slider glider that I love, grass out front, 
White House, innocence, strength, purity, truth, love, healing, and there's silver around the edge. Purity, clarity, awareness, focus, singleness of purpose, feminine energy, persistence, vision, strength. So if you wanted to know, are, I'm asking, are we moving? I will follow wherever you go. I want to be with you. Now, your pet is telling you this as well. Are we moving? I will follow wherever you go. I want to be with you. I heard yesterday a pit bull is looking for a permanent home as well as a parolee. I have two cats. I thought about this because I've seen my twin with a big dog, maybe with a cat. It will work. Don't get rid of your animal. They want to go with you. They're supposed to go with you. It will work. Spirit will make it work. Your pet is telling you, don't leave me. I will follow wherever you go. I want to be with you. If your pet has passed, are you moving? I will go everywhere you, we, that you go. I want to be with you. Whoever has been in this house is telling you that they want to be with you. <clears throat> in a matter of weeks, in a matter of weeks, this will happen. Within weeks, within weeks. It could mean something else to you. It's a time frame, so it's weeks. How long? A matter of weeks. How long did that last? Weeks. How long will we be there? Weeks. How much time do I have? Only weeks. Okay? At 31 minutes and 52 seconds in, we go to the sexual creative egg. This has got green for healing. It's got white for truth, truth, purity, innocence. It's got orange for the sacral chakra and carnelian keeps coming up, very important. And there's red for passion and love. This is the seat of sexual energy, our sacral chakra. This is your egg. This is where everything stems from love, from passion. It all comes forward from this one egg. We each have it. My left hand is prickling right now, my heart side, my left hand. My left hand, man, that's good. I like that. This is going to be from the messenger oracle. Wash away your burdens. Right now, this is what my Divine Masculine is needing to do and is doing. And it's important to do this. If For you, you need to nourish yourself. You need to take care of yourself. Right now, there's been an emotional situation that's taken place. There's tears that have been falling. You need to allow them to cleanse yourself. There's frog, two frogs. That is transformation as well as healing. The lotus comes through the mud, but look at these waters. These waters are pure. Spirit has rained down. This is the Grail Fairy pouring these waters of truth down upon you. And these are cleansing waters, beautiful waters. There's peace here. Number 48 adds up to 12. Um, 12 adds up to 3. Full circle completion. Something has ended. There's healing and there's love and there's truth that needs to be spoken. Once you come out of the dark, after you've, after you've taken care of yourself very important right now as I said whenever we go through something that's confusing whenever we go through something that's difficult we pull in and we have to take care of ourselves first that was the delay I knew that there was a delay yesterday I said there's going to be a bit of a delay until you pull it together because this is what needs to happen there may be times that you felt shame remorse regret maybe you've made promises you were not able to keep and somebody said something to me this morning um, I'll pull it up. It was on LinkedIn and they were commenting on a, a post that I, that I posted and I'm going to share what it says because this is, this is something that, you know, we talk about people gossiping because they don't approve of what you have said or done. I said, okay, the post was, not everything is, is as appears. Half-truths and deceptions are confounding things around you. This may be your own use of half-truths, or they 
are used by others around you. Either way, it is time to be clear and delve deeper, to discover what is right and what is wrong, what is real, what is not. Do not act until you're completely sure. Even though there may be some indiscretions in opposition to your new endeavors, a promise is being held out of success if you prepare yourself. Are you being truthful with others? Are others being truthful with you? This is a message to say that promises are not being kept. This will create problems and efforts should be made to ensure that all promises are followed through. Do not ignore truth of promises at this time. However, this person said to me, I've learned once and experienced myself that all truths are half-truths. So, but promises are promises, I guess. And I said, sometimes promises are not meant to be kept. We take them very seriously, yes, but if half-truths were involved or deception of any kind or if a person's life has changed and a soul contract has ended, the promise will be broken. And she said, I think this too, but maybe that's a half-truth too. Soul contracts do end though. I'm not going to respond to that because that's not a half-truth, that's a full truth. When a soul contract is over, it's over. Now she wrote to me, interesting. Trust your heart. She said to me, there are so many different interests in our world, so many realities, so many parallel universes, so many deceptions of our senses. We all work with the same concepts and believe in them, but how can we know that they are the most true and help humankind the most? How can we know? And I said, trust your heart. What would love say? What would love do? Now, when you think about that, what would love say? What would love do for yourself as well as another? Right? It's not just about them. And this is not coming from ego. Because it should be from yourself first. Not from ego. What would love do? For yourself first, not from ego. And then for the other. Okay. So, this is self-love. If you've been through a difficult period, if you're confused... If you're frustrated, if you're not sure, you love yourself. You turn yourself, you turn inward, and you care for yourself. This is when the bear goes back into its cave to hibernate. It's important. This is when the hermit goes back to the mountain. When the great wave comes, go to the mountain. I am the mountain, but also the mountain is meditation. Also the mountain is spirit. Also the mountain is self-care. He is also his mountain, because I am also my own mountain, right? I am the woman from the mountain. That's what my name even says. So that's why I said there's going to be a delay until you are able to recalibrate. And that's, that's fine. It needs to happen. We don't want to rush anything. And if, if you're in a, worry, in a panic to rush it, there's something that's not right. You're not ready. It needs to come when the timing is right. Remember, he said to me, it isn't time. So care for yourself. You've got feelings that you've probably been carrying from past lives, feelings that other people have put onto you, burdens, things maybe that you've done in the past that you don't think you can undo. But it's not for us to undo the past. Our past was there for a lesson. But can we recreate ourselves each and every day? Absolutely. Can the love come back? Absolutely. But first we have to love ourselves and forgive ourselves. And that is what this message is telling you. It's time to forgive yourself and lay down in that healing water. If you can get to the ocean, even better. But wash away the burden. Allow the Grail Fairy to pour that, that, the waters. Remember I said, my prickly cactus, my aloe? In, even a cactus needs water. It needs love. Conflict, right? So, if I were to read this card in a love reading, I would say, this person is asking, has someone entered the picture? I'm afraid or I don't get along with them. So they're worried that there might be somebody else in your life. Is there somebody else there that, that, that brings fear? Or I am dealing with a conflict. I am afraid. I don't get along with them. 
So if you're asking me, is there somebody else in his life? Yes. Are they in love? No. They don't get along. They are conflicted and they're frightened of the situation. It brings fear. Now, also, it could be that because you see these look like mirrors, right? These are emperor angelfish. So there's two emperors. Remember I said yesterday that was the emperor, the inspired warrior? So this emperor could be having conflict within himself. This is love and healing. This is the darkness. So there's a conflict going on. Head over heart decision. So what do you do? You go, what would love say? What would love do? For myself, for another. Now, if I'm feeling ashamed, if I'm feeling bad about my past, look at the stripes. In prison, you're in a prison of your own making because of things that you've done. You have to love yourself first. What would love say to you? What would non-judgment say to you? Say it. Believe it, forgive it. Then the conflict between the ego and the spirit goes away and it's about love. The duality of the dark and the light. Notice that both of these emperor angelfish have the equal amounts of dark and light. Neither one is better than the other. It also shows me that there can be two emperors battling. One is a spiritual emperor, one is an earthly emperor. This one man is, is in control, or woman, very powerful, and one is spiritually powerful, and there is a conflict between the two. That's why they're, they're, they're not getting along. There's love here. If this, are two, if this is the emperor and empress that are like my twin and I, there is absolute love and healing all around. There is passion and sexual energy and creativity. There are seeds of new beginning. These are eggs. There's new growth. There's more on with one person is a little bit more uh, grounded right now. One is a little bit flying up in their spiritual realm. Being spiritual is not what we need to be 100%. We need to have a balance. If you're flying too high in the sky, you're a dreamer. You're not coming down. You need to come down from and get back into reality. Look at the truth as it is. Deal with it here and now. Don't run away. Don't go up into spirit and float around. This is why spirit said it's time to get to work. Come back down. Right? We do a dance. It's a sacred dance. So these are all the messages. Now, your animals. If your animals are fighting in your house, that's, remember I said yesterday, there's a fight in the house with, uh, with family. So it could be a, fa a father and son fighting. Right? A mother and daughter fighting. A brother and brother fighting. I saw that. Liger and Lily fought. She was being mean. He stood his ground, but he, he wasn't the aggressor. She was. So it could be a couple. It could be my karmic, my, my twin's karmic soulmate. They were battling it out. It could have just been conflict with a friend. I heard from my landlord last night. Now, we all know what I think of Trump. I don't like him. And I'm not going to get into a political thing. I'm just telling you this is what, this is what uh, I'm using as an example. My landlord is not a Trump supporter. Neither am I. We think he's done a lot of horrible things. Yes, he's just a figurehead. Doesn't matter. Remember I said yesterday the brother is the front man? So that's what I'm seeing. A brother's fighting. Um, a front man for the, for, the, for, the, for the show. Whatever it is. Um, yesterday my landlord had a, a girlfriend over. It was a date. This person was a, uh, had attacked his, had hit his cat, Bella, his beautiful one. Now, I said, what is she doing here? And he says, I don't know, it's been a long time. He was lonely, you know, he invited her over. But he wrote me this morning and he said it didn't go well. And what's interesting about this person is she has the exact same car as me, the exact same car. And I said, why didn't it go well? And he said, she's a Trump supporter, and we got into it. So in my dream, I heard, do you love me more than him? And the person said to me, no, I don't. They hugged me. Clearly, it wasn't me. And they said, but he's your father. And the father was Trump. So whoever this person was, was supporting that person. And they got into it, is what it shows me. So whether it was two males, or there was a female and male, it wasn't good, it was a conflict, but it needed to happen. It showed my landlord something, right? 
Now, why did that person have the same car as me? Don't you think that's interesting? I find that interesting. She had the same car as me, and I said there's a black widow at my front door. So it's the karmic soulmate. Or the mother. But don't worry, because love heals. Love heals everything. Anger, fear, bullies. Love heals everything. Love heals sickness, like physical illness. Love heals. Love will. Love is everything. What would love say? What would love do? Do that. At 45 minutes in, I love that we're breezing through here. This is great. We go to the blue creative egg. Now, I love this egg because this is peaceful. This is calm energy. It might have been, I'll go back to this for a second, that my twin felt I was aggressive. And so there was conflict. What's going on? Are you allowing somebody else in? And I, did I say your pet is concerned if they're not getting along? I don't get along. Lily, you know, one's jealous of the other. There's jealousy here, conflict and fear. So you have to respect that. That's why I separate them, right? You separate people that don't get along. Remember, the couple, break them up. They don't belong together. If they don't belong together, even if it's in a soul contract, it needs to be broken. They don't belong together. So here we are, blue, calm, peaceful energy. There could be depression, there could be sadness, because this looks like tears dropping, but they're cleansing. There's also passion and creativity and innocence as well. There's a flower right here, blossoming. I didn't look at this and see sadness. I looked at this and saw peaceful, calm energy because that's where I'm at. And, and you know what's interesting is look at the passion, the restraint for me as I chose these two for me, right? The last two. So I'll just give you an example. I don't know what you chose or how. I'm looking at my wrist, actually. I'm going to show you something. I, I think if I can do this. Okay, here's my me holding these, right? With the color inside the carnelian, right? Passionate, creative energy. Look at my bracelets. The same. So what I'm looking at when I look at this egg is my right hand is my hand of, this is where I do my, my work, my healing work. Don't you find that interesting? My right hand man. I am right now being the right hand man. I'm being the right hand woman, but I am my husband's, wow, my twin. So clearly I'm gonna marry him. My twin's right hand woman, right? This is where I work. I work from this hand. This is also the night side. So remember I told you, you gotta be careful about understanding what the, what the prickles mean or what, what the information means when it comes. This also holds my mother's ring, the fire opals, right? This is my friendship ring. This is the ring from my mother. This is, there's a lot of love in this hand. This is the hand I use primarily to heal with. And it matches with this. So for me, my job right now is to, to be loving, healing, calming energy. Yesterday, we knew somebody was going through something very difficult. I knew that, and they needed my love. I stopped our reading, and I sent healing and love there. This is my position. Now you, whatever position you're in, you may be going through a very difficult time. You may be dealing with sadness. But right now, for me, this was not the time for me to be aggressive and fiery, even in my passion, right? Even in love. There's very little. Keep, keep my temper under control right? It's more about being peaceful and calm right now. I, I'm not going to the war. Remember I said yesterday, I'm not going to the, to the wars I'm invited to. I'm not attending your pity party and I'm not going to pack for your guilt trip. I choose peace. That's what I choose. And that's where I'm meant to stay right now. So if that resonates for you, you will know. Now, this is going to be the wisdom of Avalon, the disruption. Now, this is really interesting for me because so many, this is like the falling tower, right? And so many people are afraid of the falling tower, but the falling tower can also be something really wonderful because when the great wave comes, go to the mountain, the mountain with the tablets, there's the tablets, there's the water pouring down. And now I'm getting prickles in my left side. There's healing and growth. The ferns, go to the ferns. Look at the lightning bolt. I was lightning before the thunder. 
See this tunnel? There's light at the end of that tunnel and there's life-giving water pouring down through here. I'm not afraid of this tower. This tower brings goodness into my life. For you, what it talks about is the toppling over of plans, of something hard work for. You've worked hard for this. You've put a lot of energy into this and something is gonna break. Something is falling down. What does it represent in your life? You'll know, you'll know. When a tower hits, you know it. It's a shakeup, right? And it's, it's about a wake-up call. For me, this is a wake-up call. This is about being peaceful and loving, right? It's about being very careful when you make your decisions right now because the ground you're walking on is shaky right now. The great wave hit yesterday, I told you guys. And here it is here, look at the colors, right? The great wave definitely hit. It didn't hit my life, it hit my lover's life. I already had mine hit. But this is a wake up call to be making your decisions from your heart and from your intuition. It could be something that you've worked for, you've wanted really, really hard and it's gonna fall apart. And a plan, an idea. It's chaos. Remember, there's chaos, but out of chaos, order. There is order there, we got that all yesterday. It seems to be chaotic but it's not. I knew something magical happened yesterday and it might have been a falling tower to my love, but to me, it was meant to happen. It was a contract that was ending. Remember when that happens, there's a delay. I, I saw that there was a delay. We're in Mercury retrograde, guys. There's gonna be a delay. Could be communication, miscommunication, right? Misunderstandings. But when that delay happens, there's a reason for it. There's a blessing in that disguise that you don't see. It's the time that right now, we're gonna be rethink things. We're gonna try and figure things out from a different perspective. We're gonna meditate, we're gonna cleanse, we're gonna heal ourselves. Maybe the way I was looking at this, remember we got that yesterday. Maybe you've been looking at things in the wrong way. Maybe you gotta rethink something. Remember, they said don't, be, don't, be, don't get freaked out if what happens, you've gotta you've got shift course. That wasn't my message yesterday, that was for my twin. But it was like, something's gonna go in a different direction. Remember I said last night to the father, I know what you've showed me, don't let this go sideways. It didn't matter what the messages were showing me that were coming out. My ego mind could have taken me to a place of fear and, and thought that this was not what I thought it was. But that's not where I allowed my ego mind to take me. I took control of myself and I stepped into my highest self and I realized, no, I know who you are and I know who we are. And this falling tower was meant to happen. So for you, whatever this chaos is, it's cleansing. Look at those waters pouring. Allow that water to pour over the situation. Whatever was unstable before will now be built on solid ground. Because you rec recognize the weak spots, right? And if you had not have gone through that, you would, have, would not have recognized what needed to be looked at, what needed to be changed, what perspective I needed to come from, what, what course of action I needed to, to take. Maybe I was going to do this, but now you know what I realize what that means to that person. No, I won't do that. I won't say that. Wow, I didn't realize that they, they knew that about me. I didn't realize they felt that way about me. I didn't realize I had their respect. I didn't realize they didn't respect me. I didn't realize that wasn't my friend. I didn't realize, wow, that even someone could be my family member and not love me. A family member is just someone that you're born into to learn lessons from. It doesn't mean you're gonna be friends with them. They're our biggest teachers. So the message here is that all the people, all the things, all the ideas, everything is, is just on your path. The only thing that stays stable and upright is spirit, right? Everything is moving forward. The river, when the river moves forward, it, it pulls up everything from the underneath to the surface so it can be healed and examined. And that's what happens during Mercury retrograde. So right now, this disruptive period going on in your life it may be the falling tower. It may be something freaking fantastic. I believe it's something wonderful. Something that wasn't good fell apart so that something beautiful can happen. I'm very calm with this energy. It also shows you the balance between the, 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 the soulmates, the twin souls. One's going through a bit difficult time and when one goes through that, the other one is calm. It goes that way. You need to remain calm. I need to remain calm while that goes on because when my twin is going through something difficult, 
He relies on my strength and my peace and my calm and my wisdom and my clarity of mind. I can't afford to be going all, all half-cocked, fiery, and, and losing my shit, Miss Aries. No, this is when I step into my Pisces moon and my Gemini rising. I use my head, and I connect to my goddess energy, the new intuition. So this is what you're being advised to do, even if you are going through a tower moment. Find your peace. Find your center. Go somewhere healing. Go to where the ferns are. Oh, my God. Fern. I knew it was you. Um, okay. Oh, I don't want to look at that yet. Hold on. Attention. I'm doing this disturbing, confusing, unusual behavior in order to get your attention. I understand that. Thank you for the special attention. Now, there's a couple of things going on here. There's an ice box on the counter, a cooler. You getting ready to go somewhere? You getting ready to go camping? You gotta clean something up first? Because there's purple in this vase here, spiritual colors in a white vase, truth. This cat is sitting in the sink. This is a calico cat, this is a female cat. A female is doing this behavior to get your attention. Or a female energy, feminine energy, loving, nurturing goddess energy, or a jealous female. Remember the black cat with the green eyes? I'm doing this to get your attention. There's also passion on their chest. Go to the forest where the black cat and the green eyes is waiting. I don't have a black cat with green eyes. I have a black cat with blue eyes that's in the rainforest. If your eyes are green, you may be healing. Not necessarily, because I know that's where you are now. There's healing. I mean, I'm healing. My eyes are green. The eyes are also of love. And there's passion. I'm doing this to get your attention. I'm sitting in the sink. I'm sitting in the sink. I'm cleaning. I'm cleansing. I'm healing and I'm cleansing. When I speak to you, when I come across to you, you know who I am. I'm trying to get your attention. Thank you for the attention. Thank you for caring for me. Now, in a negative, if I was doing this in a love reading, okay, your cat's sitting in a sink. You shouldn't be sitting in the sink. It's not an appropriate place for the cat to sit. Why are they doing that? They're trying to get your attention. Why? What's wrong? Are they hungry? Do they need for you to keep things on ice? Do they need for you to keep things cool right now? Yes. Everything is blue here. Why are they in the sink? Ask yourself, why would your cat be in the sink? The sink is the heart of the home. I mean, the kitchen is the heart of the home. That's where you create. I'm in emotional waters. I'm in my, I'm creating. But there's no water pouring in that sink. I'm just sitting in that sink. I'm thinking. I'm processing. That's what my twin is doing. He's processing. I will tell you that calico cats are only ever females. So this could be speaking specifically about a female to someone. I am trying to get your attention. The way that I am behaving that you don't understand, I'm trying to get your attention. Thank you for the attention. This is sacral energy, sexual energy, creative energy, passionate energy. There's love all around the outside of this. There's a lot of different res reasons and uh, messages coming from this reading. So since this is my message, I'm saying to my twin, I'm behaving this way, I'm, or I'm getting your attention. I appreciate your attention, thank you. I have love in my eyes, I am also the panther. I am in the heart of the home. I'm ready to go, I've got my cooler right here. Everything's already cleaned up, I'm just waiting, right? <clears throat> your cat wants your attention. We are being told, all of us that pick this, take time to feel the love that surrounds you. There is love that's surrounding you, passion. Take time to feel that. Know that you are loved. Love yourself first. I'm, t I'm, I'm, I'm good, I'm chilling in the sink, I'm taking a time out, I'm ready to go when you say, I, I'm doing my own personal cleansing. I'm cleaning up, taking care of myself. I'm sitting in this sink so that you don't miss me. See who I am? 
See me here? I am right here. You're not going to miss me sitting in your sink, the heart of your home, where you need to do your cleansing. I am sitting right here looking right at you, and there's green in my eyes. For me, there's love. For others, there could be jealousy. If Lily sat in the sink, she would be trying to get my attention. Why? What's wrong, Lily? What do you want? I want your attention. I want your attention. I love you. I'm ready to go. It's all cleaned up. I want you to take time to feel the love that surrounds you. But right now, see, so there's my black cat sitting in that sink. Feel the love that surrounds you. It's real. Okay? At one hour, we're doing a lot better moving through these today. We go to the Divine Masculine. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. The very first one was the Divine Masculine. This is the Divine Feminine. I reversed us, remember? I'll have to listen back to what the messages were. That's interesting. Okay, so this is the Divine Feminine. Messages for the Divine Feminine. The other one were messages for the Divine Masculine. The Ark... Okay, wait. I, I, I can't do it this way. So, the Ark of the Covenant has been broken. So, again, 11, a master number. One and one is two. Partnership has been broken. Because here you see these two getting along quite well. Right? They're happy. They're, it's a very calm winter... Uh, I don't know if it's winter. I said winter. Interesting. It's a very calm... Because it's winter now. But right now it's a calm, warm night. They're, it's warm enough that they're able to sit outside with the fire. Right? The other... It's late at night because these ones are sleeping. There's no one outside those tents if you look. Right? So these ones are up late having a conversation. Like my landlord said he was having... Right? But these guys are doing well. This is the Ark of the Covenant that keeps the sacred scrolls. So something precious, a document, a contract, a, 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 a partnership, a marriage, whatever. We get, we've been getting a lot about wills, documents. And uh, they're having this conversation. This is a green tent. It's healing and love. Everything's peaceful. Right? In reverse, just like I knew contract has been broken now that fire is going to catch on catch them on fire they're gonna fall everything has fallen everything has fallen something has fallen apart something is broken apart the number 11 is a wake-up call okay it's a wake-up call so it's telling you pay attention so like I said yesterday the falling tower I I knew something good was happening it might seem chaotic, but it was but it was good. So here for you, some kind of a contract is broken. It could be there's legal issues that are an issue, like legal issues. Remember, I said you may want to get a lawyer yesterday. It could be, like I said, contracts, wills, documents. Um, it could be that you have broken a contract, absolutely, failed to uphold a contract. They're telling you to be cautious with the people who are dealing with your legal issues and caring for other things of yours. Whatever is in that Ark of the Covenant is sacred. It could be people. It could be possessions, ideas, projects. Be very careful with who you seek to invest in and invest with because right now they're telling you even though they may not be out to get you, like yesterday, remember there's deception? It may not be that they're trying to hurt you, but maybe they're neglectful. Maybe they're careless with something that matters to you. I said yesterday, it's something about the animals. Your animals will be cared for, right? Make sure, 100% certain. When I went away, my landlord at the time, he's a very loving man, but he didn't, he's also very frugal, and he turned the air conditioning off, and I was gone for, th for two weeks. And Lily had no air conditioning, and she got, um, what is it called? Heat exhaustion, I can't think of what it's called right now. But she almost died. And you guys remember, we went back. It took me a long time, $1,000 in useless vet bills and months and months to, to repair her. She almost died because she was dehydrated emotionally. She was fried. He, I came home and I found her lying on the ground, barely breathing. And 
he didn't do it on purpose, but it wasn't his cat. He wasn't paying attention. He would never do that again. He's very, very careful now. When I said your animals will be cared for, make certain you know who's caring for your animals if you have to leave them or take them with you. That's why I said to my twin, don't leave your animal, take him. We'll figure it out, <clears throat> whatever has to happen. So right now, like I said, it may not have been that somebody was doing something evil, right? But it may not be in your best interest. It may not matter to them like it matters to you. My twin went away and said, take care of this, right? But that person didn't care for what was precious to him the way he did. And they, they allowed something to happen. It wasn't that the person was evil. They just, it wasn't a priority to them. So right now, legal matters are, are important. Um, there's karmic lessons happening right now. I'm wondering what's going on legally for me because the only thing that, that would happen with me would be my father, and he's alive at this point, my stepfather. Um, it could be that you've broken a contract. You have broken a contract with your own highest self. You've chosen not to move forward with something that you're meant to. Maybe you've pushed your, your highest self. Remember yesterday, higher choices? Maybe you've pushed that to the side because you've gotten involved in the material world. I haven't, but maybe you have. Maybe you're too busy or maybe it's just too hard. I don't want to do this. I can't handle this anymore. I'm, I'm rethinking what I said earlier. This is the divine masculine. This is the divine masculine. Because I said, I'm not speaking. It's time for him to step up. This is the Divine Masculine, sorry. So, legal matters, yes, I see that. Broken contracts, yes. People that may not be caring so much for what's important to you. You are afraid to move forward. You're not following your soul's contract because of out of fear or it's just too hard for you. It's never too hard for us. That's coming from an ego. That's why there's a delay. You've allowed your fears, your emotional and needs to pull you off your path again instead of doing what's best for you. It's a wake-up call. That's why this number 11 is here. It's a wake-up call. Your life is not going to go smoothly until you handle your business correctly, which is your spiritual business first. So as I said, I knew that the falling tower was something positive, but to you, you may not feel that way because you're not looking at it from the right perspective. Those are the two sides. Which side does it represent to you? In either case, it's a wake up call. It's like, wow, remember? Wow, I didn't realize that person that I was sitting there doing business with was not my friend. I did not realize that things were not as smooth and safe as I thought they were. This. What was precious to me was not protected. I was not protected. I was not safe. The fire, remember the fire burning through the valley? The angry, the father who set everything on fire intentionally at the expense of his own child? Wow. But you were lightning before the thunder. Remember that. Now you know. Right? Now you know. That's why it was a blessing. It hurt. And you may need to heal from the pain, but now you know. And it's time. It's time for a change. <laughs> it's time to move, remember? Move forward. It may be time for you to live with someone else. Or there may be somebody in your life that is leaving spirit, going back into spirit. So if I were to read this card, in a love relationship, this person is saying it's time for a change. Time for me to live somewhere else, a new family. I may be leaving this planet. I've appreciated our time together. We will always be together in spirit. Somebody may be leaving your life and you have to allow them to go. Somebody may have left your life and it's time for you to let it go because you've been holding on to the pain and the grief and you have to allow them to release them so that you can get stable again. I wish I could see the birds that the clock hands are pointing to. I wonder if on my magnifying glass I can pull them forward. 
One is a blue jay. Let me see. Hold on. One looks like an Oriole, and one is not a Blue Jay. It is a, gosh, I can't think of what this one is. I can't think of what this one is, but the hand is on the Oriole, and it's a female Oriole. No, it's not, it's a male. Male Oriole, which makes sense because this is, this is the Divine Masculine. So, male Oriole. Okay, so they're taller. Yes, this one is taller. Um, they speak about approaching summer or sunshine within a two-week period. Remember I got within weeks? Within a two-week period. And so this is confirmation again between the masculine and the feminine. Within two weeks. Uh, the male is always close to the female. So energetically, always close. Yes, that is the bird. I'll show you. That's the bird right there. And that's the bird that you see right there. So it's a male Oriole. So a two week time period is what we were given. So there is even more confirmation within two weeks for both of these, within two weeks. So that gives you a time frame to work with, which is really nice. So start getting your house in order. That's why the cat was sitting in the sink. It's time to get your house in order. So it's about, it's, it's, it's approaching sunshine or summer, which is positive energy within two weeks. It is positive changes. So whatever falling tower, this contract that broke, this this that happened, now within two pe within two weeks, and I got that something bad's going to happen, and then very shortly afterwards something good's going to happen. And people may think it's too soon to move forward, but it's not. Spirit says it's time. This is love and healing. This is truth. This is grounded. Within two weeks, there's an archangel associated with this oriole bird as well that oversees the nature spirits so it's talking to you about doorways into the nature realm to connect which is what we've been getting right that's where fairies are remember the the the, the grail fairy is going to come forward for you within the next two weeks they want you to discover your own inner child you have been too much of a worker you've been too much of you haven't allowed your child to even be loved or play so this is about a new sense of love and happiness into your life. This is about singing your song. And I said, it's now time for the Divine Masculine to sing, right? Right now, they want you to pay attention to your diet. What are you eating? Are you eating enough fruits and vegetables? Clearly, my twin is. He's a vegetarian. But maybe you need to be more kelp, right? More greens. Make better food choices. They're master weavers. The, they, their, their, their nest looks like a woven basket. It's really cool. It looks like this. It's like a nest. Isn't that cool? Um, they're going to show you what's available. You know, the resources that you have. You may not think you have much, right? You may think you only have this one egg. But you don't. You have more. So two weeks, what's available to you? Spirit will show you. It's literally 11 to 14 days and we were given the number 11. So it's 11 days. It's, it's, now it's going down to 11 days. See, it's not, it's not two weeks, it's 11 days from now, counting down. So pick, look at your calendar in 11 days. There's gonna be opportunities within this time period. Spirit says take them when they show up. Listen to your heart. Again, remember, what would love say? What would love do? And then sing your song. That is what the Oriole says. So, in your life, whoever you are, on the, the 11th day, that's significant for you. But within 11 to 14 days, these, these possibilities are, are, are um, coming forward and incubating, and they will come out. The, some contract is ended. Or there's some legal issues that you need to deal with. Or you need to reevaluate your partnerships. Work-related concerns. Okay. This person has work-related concerns. Clearly. 
there has been a broken contract. Or if the contract has not broken, you need to break it. You need to break it. It's time to end this contract. This could be a love relationship. Remember I said somebody's there for the money, somebody's there for the sex. That contract, if it has not broken, it needs to break. That's what this means. You need to reassess things. You need to call in a legal professional. You may be worried about work, but don't be worried about work. Spirit's taking care of you, remember? Within 11 days, within 11 days, new happiness, new, new contracts, new partnerships, new moving forward. All right, you guys, at one hour and 15 minutes in, we're at a wrap. 11 days, I'm excited. I'm gonna start going through my clothes in my closet and getting rid of things. I love you. <laughs>